the Endoraptor, one of Jurassic World's most fearsome predators. A genetic hybrid and trained killer, and met its unfortunate end at the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But what actually happened to them Endoraptor remains? Were they taken and seized for further experiments to create more? Are we going to see more Endoraptors in the future? Has someone already got their hands on them remains and started the new Endoraptor project? Well, let's dive into the video and find out. A creature of the future made from pieces of the past. Ladies and gentlemen, please be warned. This is the perfect blend of the two most dangerous creatures that ever walked the earth. We call it the Endoraptor. The Endoraptor was a hybrid dinosaur created by Henry Wu in the basement of Lockwood Manor and one of the main antagonists of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And much like his predecessor, the Indominus Rex, the Endoraptor was cunning and sadistic. He killed for pleasure as much or even more than for food. The Endoraptor was created in a hidden laboratory in the Lockwood Manor. He was another one of Dr. Henry Wu's creations, similar to the Indominus Rex and Scorpius Rex. He was, however, a prototype as Wu was waiting to obtain Blue's blood to finalize the genome of the creature and breed a more streamlined version of him. He was created as a weapon as shown to attack on command through visual and audio frequency, very much like the Atroci Raptors we see in Jurassic World Dominion. So with the right DNA, they could alter the Endoraptor Raptor genome and create the perfected version. Alas, the prototype version was killed and was impaled on them spikes at the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And that's all we know after the end of Raptor's death. But what happens if I told you them remains could have been taken by somebody else? Or somebody could have easily have got themselves a sample of that end of Raptor and cloned another one. Or potentially even a pack of them like the Atroci Raptors and had them for military or trained purposes. Could this be the case for future Jurassic movies? What did actually happen to them remains. Well, canically at this time, it is unknown what happened to the hybrid's body, although it is assumed that it was disposed of. Really, could you imagine someone disposing of an Endoraptor body? Highly unlikely. Someone would have come along, either bought that, stolen it, or even taken a discreet sample and used it in future projects. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Now, as I've explained in a previous video, originally there was going to be two Endoraptors, a white one and a black one, and potentially one of them could have been the perfected version. And that was very similar to the Indominus Rex, where they had a white and a black one. And if you want to know all about that, check out this video here. And despite being derived from the Indominus Rex, the Endoraptor did not seem to inherit the form was genetically modified abilities, such as camouflaging and thermal regulation. So there is definite room for improvement for anyone who picks up the DNA. We also know that in 2022, there is a pack of Atroci Rap and these are controlled by Sonya, and these are very much similar to the Endoraptor in terms of the initial attack, where they would use laser slash sound technology to mark their targets, very much like the initial Endoraptor was supposed to be. So has someone taken that technology from the Endoraptor and imprinted it in the Atroci Raptors? Seems very likely so. And where did they initially get this DNA from? Well, obviously the Endoraptor remains. So who does actually own them Endoraptor remains or a copy of the DNA? Well, we know it cannot be Manticore because they dismantled in 2016 at the end of Camp Cretaceous season five. Although they do go underground under a new name and continue the illegal black market dinosaur ring fights, but seems very unlikely to be them. It seems also unlikely that it would be Biosyn. They would have no real reason to have that, especially when they have Giganotosaurus DNA and had basically just focused on their locusts in 2022. But what about old InGen and being revitalized in a new military project? Much like when Hoskins was working for InGen and Biosyn at the same time. There are many players in Jurassic World Dominion we are yet to even find out. Like who was the boss of Sonya? Where did she get her hands on the DNA? This could be a brand new player in Jurassic World's future. We also know at the end of Camp Cretaceous, it lines up perfectly with the end of Lockwood Manor Escape, so could a new series be on the horizon where it explores where the Endoraptor body was taken and who has the Endoraptor? It is unknown if Wu is currently in possession of any Endoraptor genetic samples or if he is unable to retrieve them from his laboratory during the incident. If he failed to take them during the evacuation, then only the remaining Endoraptor genetic source would be the car of the prototype which died in 2018. 
the Indominus Rex sample was also destroyed, but there is potential to get more from the Morsosaurus Lagoon, and if you want to know all about that, check out this video here. So realistically, the only way they could clone a new Endoraptor would be from that carcass, which by coincidence has suddenly disappeared and we have no information on. But what we do know, Viz Hoskins had made plans with Henry Wu between 2008 and 2015 to engage in military pioneering, creating the ideal combat animal for the United States Armed Forces. Now that is a huge contract, so the United States Armed Forces, to be interested in a dinosaur, will not just go away. They're going to seek to find that carcass or someone who will be able to clone and make this perfected version. And this is where it gets interesting. This is where they could clone multiple Endoraptors with that perfected biology to create packs of them, very much like the Atroci Raptors, but more militarized, more fierce, more controlled in their mannerisms, being very fast on the ground, able to burrow into outposts, be able to go through corridors super fast compared to soldiers. They wouldn't need drones anymore, just send in these genetic hybrids. They could literally rip anyone in front of them to shreds, wearing armor or not. Them claws could tear through flesh and armor alike. The amount of money they could receive from the US military for fulfilling this contract would be unimaginable and who in their right mind who are in the biological field wouldn't want to take that on. We do know that Biosen were occupied and Manticorp had been dismantled, but what about, again, future InGen? The perfect time for them to rejuvenate the project to the military. We also do have a sneak peek at what the Gen 2 Endoraptor would be like, well the perfected Endoraptor as you will, in the game series of mobile games and it does does very much appear to be white in conjunction with the idea of Blue's DNA. So would the new set of Endoraptors then theoretically be white or would they somehow have a new pattern, different colorations? Again, all this is food for thought. But what we do know is we have no real information on what happened to the body and to me that smells fishy in itself. So whoever has taken that body will have some motive for it, obviously cloning more Endoraptors as we've discussed now. I think we will see the Endoraptor return in some capacity in the future, maybe a pack of them being controlled like the Atorsi Raptors would be very cool, maybe not a huge focus of the film but just really a small part or small narrative and I would very much love to see Ripper as they call him return. Just seeing a pack of them going through corridors, ripping through parts, some types of personnel, in my eyes, would be really cool. I would love to see that. But what about you? What do you guys think? Do you think that the Endoraptor means were just disposed of and we do not know about this? It's not been told to us on screen? Or do you think something else has happened, something far more sinister? Someone has stolen them remains or even at least taken a sample of, which will later come back to haunt us in future Jurassic World movies? Please let me know in the comments. I read every single comment and I reply to every single comment. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'd like to thank my patreons and youtube members as always thank you guys don't forget to go and check out all my other videos on the channel there's plenty on there i'm sure you'll enjoy them i'm shadows and i'll see you in the next one cheers now bye bye